How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Is It A Buy, where we talk about stocks and try to determine if they are with the buy or maybe a pass. My name is Corey. I just like to preface the video by saying I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy who likes to talk about stocks, so please take what I say with a grain of salt, all right? Let's get into it. So, yes. So, uh, quick update. I'm sure I'm going to have to say this a few times, so just bear with me here. Um, it is going to be my last morning stream um the evening streams are still going to be the same the morning streams are unfortunately it has started to kind of eat into my uh you know my my work uh balance and so in order to do these live streams like i've had to been going had to like start going in late to work and stuff and i spoke to my bosses and they're pretty they're pretty cool with that but um it's just uh becoming very taxing and on top of that it's um there's also a it's also going to give me more time to make the kind of quality content that I'm going to make for you guys. I don't want to like, as you've noticed, my, my video production is slowed down and it's because I'm, I'm, I get up at seven, I, you know, hop, I have to get fully dressed, ready for work so I can run out of the door as soon as nine hits. And this is all central time. Um, and then I go straight to work. I'm like 30 minutes late for work. And then I have to run home right at five and, you know, cause there's going to be, it's a long drive plus traffic. Uh, so, and so it's just been, so I, I'm up from seven and I stop here at eight. And then if I don't make a video at night, then I'm for, it's a, it's like an, a 13 hour day. Um, and here's the deal. I'm, I don't mind. I'm not complaining at all, but I've, I've not been able to make you guys the content that I've been wanting for you guys to, um, that I want for you guys to have. I want you guys to have good content. I want you, I want to be able to review the, the the companies that you want me to review, stuff like that. So it really is going to be for the better of the of the uh, uh, of the channel. Trust me. And so that's kind of my my thought process behind it. But uh, yes, yeah, so that's just the way it's going to be for 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 now. And you know, if something huge happens and I'm like not doing anything, and I can stream. Then heck yeah, I'll, I'll be more than happy to stream in the morning. But we'll just have to see. What is up, Lee? Uh, what is up, Olive? Let's add to the chat really quick, and uh, we'll talk about what's going on with these stocks. And uh, you know, we'll, we'll have a good time. It's not the end. This is just. And what I also plan on doing is let's say I have a good video or something. Uh, I'm hoping to. I mean, I have a few different ideas how, of how I want to record the videos and stuff. And maybe I'll do like a morning um premiere and you guys can all watch it together and kind of chat and stuff so you know i have, I have plans i have plans but i just need to be make sure that i'm able to uh, execute those plans all right so uh let's get let's get caught up with the chat let me take a sip of water and then we will uh we'll see what's going on with the stocks well says good morning cap and going to my friend damon was second jose hodl Olive, JFlow, AMC, Diamond, GME. Uh, let's see, Cheryl, last morning stream. Yes, but I, I just explained it. So hopefully, hopefully you guys understand. It's gonna be, it's gonna be for the best, and uh, just I think it'll be great. Demarkey, good morning, all. Ramsey, uh, Diamond Handed. The song is. called happy days <laughs> happy days by simon peterson cheryl says uh amc closed at ten dollars yesterday not 9.99 oh that's so weird i don't know why it was why it it was showing 9.99 here maybe Maybe I was confused uh, and I'm on the wrong stock right now. So let's go do AMC down here. I need to clear some of these off. Oh gosh, I need to clear a few more. <laughs> All right, there's AMC. Yeah, see, this is 999 here. That's so weird. Johnson, good morning, Captain Cash. Uh, what is up? So MDH says, super, you know, our super stunk, uh, the subreddit, is having an aneurysm, no conspiracy theories, no politics, buy and hold, uh, we own the float, all other information is irrelevant, do you believe me? Do your own DD, trust no one. We, I mean, I almost had to put on that tinfoil hat through that. No, nah, but uh, yeah, realistically, and uh, MDH, this is what, you know, I talk about all the time. I'm holding, I'm waiting, I'm chilling, I'm bullish, and I'm happy. 
just waiting for something to give. Uh, let's check these DTCC filings. Nothing filed, obviously, yet. Uh, well, I say obviously, but who knows? Uh, 801 still waiting on that. And that's that. Holding, chilling, waiting. Even when 801 gets passed, all these other wins get passed. Holding, chilling, waiting for something to give. Lee, my friend, my friend. Uh, the float was the the float info was the cherry on top. Anti, good morning. Uh, Ramsey says, I have a question. I just got paid today. Uh, I want to buy more AMC. Should I wait for a uh, market opening or should I uh, wait a little already? I have 987 shares of AMC. Um, you know, let's see. Let's see what's been going on on the one day. Let's see if we can get a direction. It's at 1004. It's really hard to tell which way it's going to go now. Oh, my gosh. Did this just break my my level of support that I had going? OK, it did break the level of support. So we're going to. Chillin' and holdin' bullish happy. I know I just made that up all of them. That that was <laughs> that kind of just flowed out. I rhyme all the time. Uh, I guess that doesn't rhyme, but I'm gonna put that on a shirt, right? Chillin', holdin', bullish happy. I'm gonna put that on a shirt. There you go. Maybe I'll put it on a shirt. We'll see. Um, guys, I've, I've merged and stuff. This is great because this is going to allow me, like, so I won't have a video every single morning, of course, but it's going to allow me to really work on the channel. Like, I can I can finally go visit my merch person. I can go visit this. I can do this. And I'm, ah, oh, man, it's going to be, it's going to be really, really, really good. And in the mornings, I can start, I can record my course because it's been hard to find time. Uh, you know, I'll have to use my weekends, but I'm hyped up. So, uh, Ramsey, to answer your question, uh, should I buy, I got paid today, should I buy more AMC? Man, you were only, thir what is it, 13? 13? 13 shares from 1,000 shares, which is a, a, a huge feat. So, first of all, congratulations. Second of all, you know, with this breaking, this level of support, uh, I, I'd be curious. Now, I, I'll say this. If it goes down, we've seen the volatility, right? In the morning, a lot of times it'll start and then it'll kind of like dip and then it'll recover. Uh, and then, you know, obviously we don't know which way it's going to go. Because what I was going to say, and, you know, looking at these charts, sometimes like here it went up that day. But usually in the morning, you know, we see a dip and then sometimes it'll recover, right? We'll see a dip around here and then it'll start to recover and it'll have like a good day. But sometimes it'll just continue to dip. I might wait um, until you see, you know, something that you like. Because me, like, I wouldn't be be mad buying here. I mean, here's the deal. You're, you're, I, I don't know how many shares you want to buy, but I would imagine you want to at least make it an even thousand, right? So 13 shares. I mean, from here to here, this is like, you know, 40 cents. So 40 cents times, let's say you wanted to buy 13. Uh, what does that come out to? You know, five bucks is what you'll save, but you'll make your even thousand. I mean, realistically, and if you're expecting, here's the deal, this is what I always tell people, if you're expecting the stock to go to the moon, you know, double or whatever, I don't think you'll worry about, you know, if you're only buying that many, you know, a few, a few bucks, but realistically, you could always wait for a bottom, and then uh, you could, you could hope that it goes up, but the question is, is you know, how long are you going to be holding, maybe if you wait for, for 10 days, or, you know, or 20 days, maybe it'll, it'll go back down to eight bucks, or even six bucks, or something, you know, before it's, it slingshots, so uh, really just kind of, Depends, my friend. But a few different options for you. Hopefully, that that gives you a direction of which way you want to go. It is it is a roll of the dice, especially all of one hundred percent. I should have just read your comment instead. Uh, it's a roll of the dice, uh, especially you know, uh, fifteen minutes after the market open. Exactly, that's when we see the most volatility, right? Especially in the mornings. What we've seen is it dips pretty hard the first like fifteen minutes, and then it, it usually can it can bottom out. But as we've seen, it you know, no one really knows which way it's going to go. But you can use some of those. Um, what part of Florida are you from? I'm from uh, Orlando, actually. Born and raised. On the playground was where I spent most of my days. Uh, Muhammad says, good morning, Corey. Do you think if AMC pushes 11, it might trigger a squeeze? Uh, then GME uh, start right after. So, <laughs> you know, it's, it's hard to say. I think that I'm not sure if 11 will trigger the squeeze. I mean, we went all the way up to 14, didn't really... Uh, trigger the squeeze right um and so it, it really just depends and there's there's a lot more factors going in than just the squeeze that we're kind of waiting for it could be something like um we, we could be waiting for something to to kind of give and i don't know what would really force it i think we would need a lot of people to buy a lot of price action a lot of movement but um it's so it's it's hard to tell i don't think 11 would do it though to be honest um, it's obviously a step in the right direction. And honestly, I would not be upset if this took a long time for this to, to go up. If this took, you know, 
a few months, like six months or something for it to go up. And it was kind of, and if it was slow, I'd rather take the slow increases than the crazy volatile movement because that, that volatile movement, while it's great, it can trigger like paper hands and stuff. I'd rather have something similar to like Tesla where it's uh, going up. <laughs> uh, let's see. <clears throat> Cheryl says this is $9.99 now, but they changed it. Oh, okay. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe and maybe it's the pre-market or something, or I, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, a, a penny. I don't I don't know if that matters right now, though, you know. I watched it live for 20 minutes after the market. It closed at $10. Oh, okay. Yeah. So remember, there, there's the after hours uh, also. So the after hours, it could have closed at, at $10. But either way, you know, it's not like, uh, so today is when the options are. So let's take a look at the options actually. And it looks like $10 is where we're currently at. I wonder if, if it'll close there though. You know, we've seen some crazy action on these, these Fridays where we're trying to close in the, uh, in the money. So we'll see. <clears throat> Excuse me. When is the shares count, uh, shares recounts finalized? So from my understanding, I believe 420 was supposed to be for GameStop. So a few days ago. So I'm not sure if it takes them a while to analyze their findings and then they're going to finally do something with that. Who knows? But uh, so we'll, we'll have to see with that one. And for AMC, from my understanding, it's it's going. So the count is May 4th or whatever. So it should be end. It should end on the 27th is what people have been saying. I haven't verified it, but that's what the consensus seems to be in the chat. So, uh, yeah, this one's pretty cool. West Palm. <clears throat> What's LTNC looking like? We can take a quick look. Look at the three month. What is this? Oh, it just it just uh IPO'd. Yeah, so I'm not too sure about this one. Professional commercial services, employment services. Ooh, see, this could be see temporary labor help fields. See, this could be pretty cool going into 2021. I mean 20, you know, the end of 2021, 2022. Because if people are still, I don't know what the unemployment is looking like right now, but if it is an, un, if it is unemployed, like if unemployment is still high, people are going to be looking for jobs. This is something that people could look for. Now, I don't know how they penetrated the market. I don't know how long they've been around for. I don't know anything about this company, but that kind of field could be really, really good. And we look for those plays, right? In 2020, uh, you know, airlines did bad, cruises, stuff like that went bad, right? Because no one could use them. But, you know, it did well. Home, home, like home furnishing companies, Wayfair, uh, I think Home Depot did well, those kinds of things, because people were stuck at home, they're doing all these DIY projects and stuff like that, right? So now we're looking for the next play. And the next play for, for me is going to be like, like uh, mortgage companies did well, right? Because a lot of people purchase homes. So now they, they lock those people into those, those 30 year contracts, um, me, me being one of them. And now, boom, you have a, they're going to have good long term uh potential right now this one could be a good one also because people are need to get jobs again they're going to be looking for these kind of agencies to help them find jobs and maybe they want to change careers right they've been at home they're like you know i really don't like what i used to do and now i want to change careers and maybe they'll they'll work with something like this so if that's what these guys do it seems like they help people find jobs so it could be it could be a very good 2020 uh, or you know maybe even through the end of 2021 while people are still trying to find jobs that could be a great play um so yeah Hopefully that, hopefully that helps a little bit. But those are the kind of plays you guys need to think about. And if anyone thinks of one, let me know. I, I love to hear these plays and I get hyped up because I, I do like that kind of industry. And that's just my my thought process, right? I might be wrong, but I might be right. <clears throat> Still have nine minutes until the bell. Let's continue with the, the chat, see what's going on. Uh, let's see. Is there any shares borrowing today? So let's take a look at uh, some of the numbers. We can take a look at, well, let's look at Matt Coors, um, Twitter. Oh, I spelled it wrong, whoops. Oh, two hours ago, there it was. <clears throat> so uh, AMC short interest is another record, 23.52. Um, shares on loan, you know, utilization 100% like it's been. Shares on loan 153 million record. Uh, and then GameStop, of course, is 
Uh, so 29 point, or 27.99, it's an increase. Utilization was an increase and shares on loan was an increase. You know, the numbers are a little bit different, but you know what? I think they're both primed and ready for a squeeze. And I th like I said, I think they're going to squeeze at the same time. People are trying to, and I don't know why other apes are trying to, you know, divide ourselves. Like we're all apes. Like I, I hope that AMC and in GameStop both squeeze at the same time. I hope they both go super high percentage wise, you know, hundred percent or a hundred percent. What? That's chump change. You know, 15 million percent, stuff like that. But you know, apes, apes together strong. <clears throat> You know what? You have a very good point. Damon says, how are there more shares on loan if the utilization is 100%? I wonder how much these, these have been increasing by, right? So let's take a look. Let's see if we can try to smooth brain through this. <clears throat> oh, really quick, before I get to this. So I want to go over this really quick. So Biden will propose raising the tax rate to this. And what did this do? So this is something that people need to consider whenever we are talking about uh, options and stuff, right? Especially about options, because a lot of people had options expiring today, right? And maybe they had a stock. Maybe it wasn't AMC or GameStop. Maybe it was just a different stock. They were waiting on their option. They got this news. And apparently whenever this news came out, the stock's all of the stocks just kind of dropped. Okay. So be careful with your options. You know, if you can cash out your option a little before, you know, whenever you're happy with your profits, I, I, I recommend not being too greedy with these because, you know, people who were in the money yesterday or like the day before yesterday, excuse me, and they were barely in the money. This news that came out might have knocked them out, out of the money. And I saw that with on, I think it was on Wall Street Best this morning, like laying in bed. And I saw some people knocked out of the money, allegedly with the announcement. Now, I haven't checked, you know, their stock and if they were in the money, all this weird stuff. But be careful with this kind of stuff. You never know. You know, news trumps um, any kind of technical analysis. This stock could be up, you know, trending up, trending up, trending up. And and then not even this isn't even related to that direct stock at all. And look what it did to it. OK, so keep, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind that this could happen. Uh, so back to the question at hand, which was, so how are they, uh, how is the, they borrowing shares? So let's see what it was yesterday. So here's a 22nd. So AMC 53.22 and today it is at, wait, 153.22, 153.78. So realistically, you know, they just needed 50,000 shares or whatever it would go to, uh, 500,000 shares. I don't know what exact, wait, what is this number? 500,000? something like that, 400,000 shares in order to get there. Now, it's very possible that that happened, right? Because if we take a look, let's look at the one day candles and we look at the one day for, let's say yesterday, and yesterday was 49 million uh, shares traded, right? And so if people are selling these and I don't know, hedgies are, are buying them or loaning them or for all I know, they're, they're doing them you know, naked or illegally or whatever, it's very possible that, you know, out of the 49 million in volume that they got a couple hundred thousand. You know what I mean? Very, very possible to continue to short, to keep that downward pressure. And, you know, if people, you know, really didn't sell this stock, I, I still can't believe, it. and, you know, people might be swing trading it and stuff, who knows, which I probably wouldn't recommend. Um, but uh, for in, in terms of, from a technical position of a squeeze, uh, I, you know, but do whatever you want. It's very possible, very, very possible. So good question, but we can kind of see here, right? Looking at the numbers. And this is this is good, you know? Good question, great question. Take a step back, let's like think of it. And here's the, I might be wrong, but kind of makes sense from the way I, I explained it to myself. Are there any shares borrowing today? And we can also take a look at Fintel. Mm. And let's see. So let's look at both of these winners. So we'll take a look at GameStop first. So GameStop, we can look at the uh, is it short interest. 
we can see short volume ratio 22 percent share short shares availability is zero uh and then i don't know why we're not showing the short bar fee rate but going up uh do we have days to cover on this one there's another one for a, a squeeze what is it called short squeeze score And oh, what number was it? I don't even remember. Let me check really quick. Oh, uh, GameStop. Let me just close this and go backwards. Uh, 285. Jeez. Oh, it's not even on here. Well, that's unfortunate. Is this the... I'm trying to find the days to cover for this one, but that's okay. You can see it is on here. And... and I'll just leave that as as is. What I was going to say is I'd be careful with, you know, trying to go to these stocks and trying to short squ squeeze them. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Uh, Moisture says, morning, what is up with the last morning stream? Yeah, so it's just going to be the last morning stream for now. Um, and it's just because I, I, I'm i still going to do the evening streams. So those are going to still be, you know, perfect. But the morning streams are kind of eating into my, my work, uh, my work, which I, I really can't have. That's like, obviously my my source of income uh so I, I won't be able to do that good morning kimberly uh so but uh my plan is to have videos released for you guys in the morning uh take care of channel stuff channel related stuff in the morning so the morning is still going to be dedicated to you guys uh just in a different um capacity but still still for you guys Bring back AOL chats. Oh my gosh. Uh, what up, Bobby? Oh, I didn't even look at AMC. I was about to be done with this. Uh, short interest. <clears throat> hey, I think this moved up on the list from yesterday. The short squeeze score. I think this moved up because now it's 94. I think it was like similar to, to GameStop. Short share availability is zero. Gee, short borrow fee rate is insane, especially compared to GameStop. Look at this. You know, 1.13%, 26.24%. Jeez. Crazy stuff. Uh, Galaxy says, have you seen Trey? Oh, wait, I missed something. Uh, I was a beta tester from 6.0 to 6.10. Oh, my gosh. For AOL, jeez, no way. Uh, Galaxy says, have you seen Trey's latest video? Uh, he uploaded, he sounded really depressed and sad. Uh, yeah, he's having heart surgery soon. Yes, uh, guys, if you guys haven't seen that video, um, just show him a little bit of love. He, uh, yeah, he's, you know, his heart stuff is, he's kind of, he's okay, but he is going to have to have like heart surgery, you know, uh, and he's worried about the recovery and heart surgery is dangerous. You know, it's not something to joke around about. So, uh, definitely show him some love and let him know, you know, he's not alone. He's, he's really down. He feeds off of, off of other people. You can tell, right? I'm the same way. I feed off of other people when I'm alone sitting here. I'm like, literally just like chilling, like super, obviously not talking to myself, but it, it is what it is like. And he is, I'm in, I'm an extroverted introvert. So like I'm quiet and stuff, I'm chilling. But as soon as someone like ha has a conversation with me, like I'm, I'm all for it. I'm good. But, uh, I'm not one to like go, go places and like just struck up random conversations. So, um, but yeah, poor Trey, uh, you know, hopefully he's okay. Yeah. So, so some interesting stuff happening with capital X cell. Um, I think it's CXC, I believe it's like a crypto or something. And it went from point, it went from nine cents to $3,000 shady stuff going on. So I'd be very, very careful with some of these things, you know, maybe, maybe it is something good. Maybe it'll go to 10,000, maybe it'll go to zero. So uh, I just be very careful with those kinds of plays and just, just, uh, what is it called? Uh, Manager risk. Um, what do you think about NLST? Oh, the bell is run. Let's take a look at what's going on at the bell. So we can see here AMC hovering around the $10 mark um, and just kind of 
battling you know what i mean let's take a look at gamestop bitcoin holy smokes i just noticed this bitcoin at 49k man it touched 47k unbelievable and i got an alert for coin not happy with my position here i'm in at 381 is at 282 <clears throat> yikes and i don't think i'm gonna be averaging down i think i'm just gonna hold it for long term uh unless amc goes to the moon gamestop goes to the moon uh, then I'm going to Ian. You're not late, my friend. You still have 30 minutes, my friend. Cheryl, you're in Orlando. I was in. I, I'm I'm born and raised in Orlando. That's crazy. I I live by uh, in Orlando. I lived by um, Valencia College. I feel bad for everyone in Bitcoin. My actually my my boss, one of my bosses, he just pulled out of Bitcoin, and um, he before it dipped before it dipped he pulled out he was like oh, i don't know he got he got he, he felt like something bad was gonna happen he sold out and you know what he's probably gonna be happy today that he did sell, sell out <laughs> doge oh my gosh 22 cents what is see it's scary stuff it's scary stuff for lauderdale nice man maybe when i go to florida we could do like a meetup or something that'd be so cool dang that'd be sick You, oh my gosh, Cheryl, you do? What? This is so crazy. Uh, so, yeah, these are not doing well. Uh, GameStop is down just under a percent on the day. Could go really either way, either, either way. Uh, let's look at the one minute candles. Or, yeah, the one day, one minute candles. And we can see, it's not looking so bad. Kind of an upward momentum, right? Uh, and then amc at 10 15 we are looking very good to get these this uh in the options so far keep in mind there's a lot of volatility that that is going to happen but uh could be freaking fantastic raisin rio panar no way this is so crazy my cousins live in rio panar wait is rio panar it's on is it curry ford and this is so crazy what a small world they're in rio panar lakes this is so crazy. What? Uh, so let's take a look. Oh, bottler. Oh my gosh. Oh, Google moderator team removed them. Holy smokes. You guys see that message deleted by Google, Google moderator team. Uh, good catch auntie. So let's see. Yeah, AMC, not bad at all. 240. And guys, if you guys, if you weren't here last night, I did add to my position. I now have 10 shares of GameStop. Uh, feeling very good about my position. Um, and holding, holding strong. Feeling good. AMC, no way. No way. What is happening? This is insane. Graduated in from no way. Tracy graduated from Valencia in 2017. What? This is so cool. Uh, let's see. So Damon says, why are hedge funds still trying to lower? I, I man, this chart is like so distracting. Holy smokes. Why, why are hedge funds still trying to lower AMC stock when they don't have any more shares to short? Uh, Damien, they're looking for any, uh, here's the deal. I don't know their goal. I don't know their plan. I truly, truly don't. I feel like, and this is the, uh, another theory and so many theories, right? Just, and if you're getting overwhelmed with the theories, just tune it out, you know, but Another theory is these guys are shorting. They have to short the stock every single day because if they don't short the stock with additional shares every single day, it's going to run because there are so many people buying and holding and not selling the stock that the bullish momentum is so strong that they have to do it. That's a theory. It kind of makes sense, right? But that's why it keeps on going up. They're using it just enough shares and who knows what they're doing in the dark pools, high frequency trading, yada, yada. It's it's just wild stuff, but yeah. Uh, when I saw Doge uh, fall, I definitely sold, bought back in at a low low value though. Yeah, see, but Doge. Do Here's the deal with regular stocks. 
and and whenever you you can it's fantastic buy high or buy low <laughs> whoops buy low sell high and then if it dips back buy again rinse and repeat i literally had a dream actually last night what's it was with dogecoin with dogecoin i literally had a dream last night that <laughs> i was on i was on weeble mobile app laying in bed and the stock was going insane it was like a glitch or something because it would go down to what would it go down to like seven cents and then it would go back up to 21 cents seven to 21 and then you know it would go like 42 down to six and then it was all over the place but it would go that big and i was buying like i i put all my money or you know all the extra like cash that i had and i just kept buying and selling buying and selling and it was the great and it was happening <laughs> it was too fast it didn't make any sense for it being a dream but i was just buying and selling but and i got very rich in my dream so <clears throat> hopefully it was a premonition for uh what's gonna happen to amc lake underhill yes 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 oh my gosh cheryl this is like nuts this is nuts we live so close to my best friend lived across what was that place called dang it i don't know what was his no i don't remember his his neighborhood that's so crazy amc still at ten dollars 21 cents games a bit of a dip uh just you know under 149 that's all right <clears throat> we got some floridians in the chat i know it's insane 412 uh, spy calls paying off squeeze today i don't know if it's gonna squeeze today realistically from what we've seen before it's gonna squeeze in the and uh, and you know this is i don't know if this is 100 true but it would go ahead and happen in the after hours and in the pre-market so theoretically in the after hours you could see this start to run and when you see this start to run that could be it uh that could be it well what is up steve welcome my friend man everybody's here in the morning now <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Tracy, I used to live in Winter Park uh, in Soto for six years. I just moved to Phoenix. I'm just going like crazy. Oh, dang, that's crazy. Uh, Ian, tinfoil hat here. Uh, they are trying to delay the inevitable. The more time they delay, uh, the better because they're expecting hold fatigue. Right, and I agree, Ian. I think that's that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to delay it as long as possible, the squeeze. Trying to, hoping that we give up, hoping this and that. But I don't, if they really are on Wall Street bets and all these subreddits, which I don't see why they wouldn't be. It only makes sense for them to be. Um, I, I couldn't even blame them for being on those, on, on those subreddits, right? If that's like, that's like it just makes sense so if they're on there which i do believe they are then they should see the the the, the sentiment of of not selling of holding and that you would figure instead of them using all this money using all this money that they would try to just cover and they would just be done with it but i think they're trying to hold out as they are trying to hold out as long as possible i think they're holding hoping that we get bored i think they're hoping that uh, something, they find something, they find an out. And I think they're just delaying as long as possible. until so they find an out. Um, and you know, some other things within that realm, they're, they're trying to just delay for as long as possible. Maybe they're hoping, uh, maybe they're, and remember they have, a, a, I'm guarantee they have a team of very, very smart people who are doing like cost analysis of, what it looks like if they go bankrupt, what it looks like if they do this, if they do that, you know, what are the legal implications? Can they, can they hide their money here and then, and then have the DTC cover and then come back? You know, I don't know if any of those are possible, but, uh, I'm sure they are, are planning very, very, very carefully, uh, about that. So, but again, some tinfoil hat talk, uh, we'll, we'll just have to see either way, all that stuff does not matter, you know? In, in my opinion, it doesn't even matter because I'm just holding and I'm chilling. You know, these these shares, these are a lot of shares being sold back and forth. It's very, it's weird. <clears throat> I don't know who's selling these much this much shares. I don't know who's buying this much shares. Uh, but theoretically, this this could be the, those high frequency trading. There's going to be trades that we talk about because uh, it's on every single penny, like a lot of volume on every single penny. Really hard to speculate what's going on there. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Bitcoin, oh my gosh, about to touch, yep, like that 48K. Uh, let's see. Live in Winter Park now, nice, nice, nice. 
yeah see these red candles i mean here's the deal it was it was doing well a little i i suppose you could say it was well according to the rsi right it was over overbought and uh kind of retraced but uh solid retracement right not bad at all we can do a fibonacci retracement here and see what it did right here so just over 50 percent uh up to and you know what's interesting take a look at this the uh 15 ma why does it say five and not 15. The 15 MA just crossed over the 200 EMA, which is a bullish bullish sentiment, right? So this is this is pretty or bullish uh, movement, uh, and it just crossed over, which is very very good. I'm really liking this. We'll see if this continues to to support throughout the rest of the day. Um, meanwhile, GameStop kind of going the opposite way, right? It looked pretty good in the morning, kind of dipped here, only down one percent. Uh, I'm not seeing any movement here. Are we in the one minute candles? Is this halted? Huh, this might be halted temporarily. Oh no, it moved a little bit. I wonder if this right here, look at this. Who's buying this many shares? Holy smokes. What is this, 149? Let me find my calculator. One, whoop, 149 times, let's say, let's say 1,000. Jeez, someone huge is buying in here right now. That's nuts. Oh my gosh, this is, and then, granted, this might be multiple people, but yeah, they're really trying to hold this level of support. This is crazy. This is probably going to be holding here. Uh, what's up, Lucid? So it's going to be only the last morning stream, um, uh, and it's just so I can uh, invest more. I'm going to make a video on this about the channel, guys, also. Uh, I'm going to do some channel updates, uh, and I'm going to do some... Man, you guys seem to really like these morning streams. Now it's messing with me, but I just... Yeah, it's one of those things. I I freaking love the morning streams, but it's kind of eating into my work. It's uh, it's 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 been it's just a little rough. Like, um, I want to be able to make you guys quality content, especially in the mornings, stuff like that. So I'm uh, my goal. I would love to release videos like a premiere type video for you guys in the morning, so we can uh, so you guys can all hang out and like you know watch them in the morning. But it's just. Uh, but we'll have to see, you know, uh, and this is, it's going to be, it's for the better, for the, for the, uh, the benefit of the channel. Okay. I'm still going to be everything channel. My morning is still completely dedicated to the channel. Uh, but it's going to let me do, be a little more flexible, like, and get into work like on time and stuff. But, uh, but yeah, so AMC, I mean, GameStop is kind of chilling here. Uh, let's see what big or Dogecoin still dropping, right? Kind of gap down here. Look at that to, uh, 21 cents. <clears throat> Uh, we'll leave it on AMC uh, while I continue with the chat. Damon says uh, for the, the hedge funds are probably waiting for their, their lawyers to figure something out. I, I, I'm i with you, Damon. It, it could be something very much like that. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Looking good. Holy smokes. Look at these shares. Somebody is really trying to <laughs> prop this stock up, huh? 7,000, 6,000. Jeez. Damon says, you think based on Reddit that there would be no sells if you buy since most of the stocks are takes. Yeah, you know, hard hard to say. Obviously, we can. So with Reddit, we can see the sentiment, right? People like the stock. People want to hold the stock. But at the same time, you have a very specific. It's like getting a, a poll and just going to Reddit and like saying, oh, this is what the world is thinking. Well, no, this is what Reddit is thinking, right? <clears throat> specific people who are on Reddit. Now, I'm not saying Reddit isn't diverse or anything. All I'm saying is, you know, those are. Maybe Reddit is a specific kind of person, you know, uh, or a specific kind of people, you know what I mean? Like maybe age ranges or I don't know, especially like maybe Wall Street Bets is even more smaller. So if they get a poll from only Wall Street Bets, it tells you something else. Or maybe, you know, people in Wall Street Bets like the chase stocks instead of find their own stocks. You know what I mean? Like there's a bunch of different things. So kind of hard to tell, but you can you can definitely see the sentiment on some of these, uh, especially if you're in those. You, a lot of people are buying and holding, but you know, maybe there's some swing traders going in, doing some crazy plays. Uh, traditional retail investors like aren't touching the stock, so that kind of leads toward back to the Wall Street bets. People are holding strong, so you know, different ways it could go. But I feel like I'm very confident that people are holding very, 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 very strong. <clears throat> I, I am worried about fatigue though, even though you know, we, we, we may feel good in the chat, right? But a lot of people are 
some people aren't we saw this huge youtuber the other or you know larger than me youtuber he uh he decided okay well i'm going to he got fatigued he was done with it he wanted he wanted to make some other plays and is he wrong uh he's not wrong that other stocks are running is he you know mavis for example up 14 percent. thank goodness i need mavis to run i need it i have a uh may 21st call multiple call options and i need that to run i need to get out and i if and that money is going to be gamestop and amc money and i can't wait for that to be over with because it not, did not feel good the whole time i might just break even and not make any money but you know what i'll take it rather than losing all that money uh, ian says maybe it's a whale, whale helping yeah it could be a, a whale trying to buy these stocks and, and hold hold strong <clears throat> Damon says, maybe you could do a morning stream once a week during Friday. Hey, you know what? I probably could do that, Damon. On, on Fridays, I probably could do that. We'll see. Yeah, may, maybe I will try to do that. I like that. Thank you for that suggestion. Uh, Cheryl says, why do you think it will moon after pre-market or after hours? Uh, didn't Jamie squeeze during the regular market? So we can actually take a look at this, right? If we take a look at the, let's look at the three month, we can zoom in here and we can see most of the action, right? Was during the pre-market. And we can see here, here's the, the 26th and here on the 26th, I went from, uh, what is this? Well, let's find this candle wick. So from 84 bucks all the way up to, and this is the, the peak, right? The low in the peak, uh, 84 bucks all the way to 384 in the after hours over here, pre-market over here. And then it went all the way over here to. Uh, here you know kind of dipped here and then it went up that that morning and then this is where they uh they halted uh trading we can see that with amc as well right we can see here that the in britain you can see exactly where they halted trading in that morning so we can see it here so down here let's say 478 sure all the way to 25 bucks in the pre-market and then uh held strong during the day and then the next day uh a little bit of action in the after hours pre-market or and, a little bit in the after hours here pre-market they halted trading and it just kind of dropped and it didn't fully recover you know uh so it got a little rough and uh that's what happened whoops oh my gosh did i move it i'll take it okay we'll leave that there so that's why i think it's going to do that granted that might be wrong uh but trace trades also believes the same thing uh as me so I don't know if that means anything. Uh, we're both simple apes, but if we also just so happen to think the same thing, and again, we could be looking at the same chart and we could be completely wrong, but uh, it could be that. <clears throat> uh, Steve says, I have friends in risk management uh, department of fin, in or fin institution who posts a million interest story a day. She's been MI for months and months. Oh, geez. Would you be back on morning stream during the squeeze? So yeah, so here's the deal. If it, <clears throat> you know, and this is not like I'm never going to stream again in the morning. It's just like right now, I just need to make sure everything is is good. You know what I mean? Like I I, I run a, a small team of, of developers and I need to make sure they're taken care of, that they're doing good. And, you know, they've been, they've been okay recently. Uh, but I just need to really make sure like everything is, is, is good. Okay. But you know, if let's say one morning, like I have time or I don't work that morning or, or something like, I don't know why I wouldn't work that morning if I'm off or something, but, um, then, you know, I, I'd love to stream. I don't, here's the deal. I don't not like stream. This is fun. I have such a good time. Look how much fun we're having. Like everyone's having a good time chilling. We got some emojis in the chat, so I'm, I'm feeling good, you know? Uh, but I just need to. You know, I also feel bad. Like, I'm not able to make you guys the content you guys want to see, like, for different stocks and stuff, just because I'm, I'm just talking about this. And I ha and I want to record my course. I want to do this. And the morning is going to give me the opportunity to, to do all of those things. <clears throat> Lee says, working goes overrated. AMC needs to rock it. I hate waking up at 10 to 4 a.m. every single day. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's rough. Who's going to the movies today? Oh, Mortal Kombat comes out today. See, I don't even know this. You know what? Maybe maybe I'll go to the movies tomorrow. Maybe I'll take my fiance to the movies. D 
Demon is a smart guy. I'm Wendy. Oh, I am. I guess Mortal Kombat is out today. Let's see. Whoops. <clears throat> April 16th. What? It's been out. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Shows you what I know. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Oh my gosh, that trailer looks cool. So I've actually been doing something interesting. <clears throat> I watched the one trailer just to see if I wanted to see it. But for movies like that I know I'm going to watch, for example, I'm, I'm like super into Harry Potter. So like the Fantastic Beasts 2, I didn't watch the trailer and I'm so happy I didn't. So I have not been, like even for Marvel movies, right? I have not been watching the trailers or I've been trying not to watch the trailers because holy smokes it makes the movie going experience so much better because you don't know what to expect you don't know who's going to cameo you don't know who's going to do this and sometimes they give it away in the uh in the trailers and it's like why did they give all this away like why would they give it all away and so yes i'm like super i know it's kind of weird it sounds a little lame but i've been loving it Robert says, is it a good time to buy more GME or wait? So, uh, Robert, I, I did add my GME yesterday around this price. And so I'm pretty happy with it, honestly. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Uh, I, I feel good about it. And if it dips, then I'm okay. You know, I'm, I'm not going to be too worried about it. I feel very good with my entry point. Um, and so that's kind of what you have to decide. If you want to add to your position, it may be an excellent time to add. Now, then again, who knows? Next week, maybe it'll go down to 50 bucks again and you can add then. But um, like AMC, I'm comfortable with, with my position in it. I don't feel the need to add to it. If it goes down to five bucks, you best believe I will be adding to it. But uh, if it stays here and if it starts to run, I'm good. Uh, GameStop as well. GameStop, I, I wanted to just buy three more shares. And I didn't know if I wanted to. I don't know if I wanted to. I was like, well, I did want to. But I was like, you know what? If it runs, like I'm happy with the amount of shares I have. But I would like three more. And then it kind of went, it dipped under 150. And I was like, sure, like, I don't mind. Um, and if it would ran, I would have been like, okay, well, that's cool. I guess I should have added those three, but I would have been fine with it. Yeah. I'm telling you, auntie, if you like not watching the, yeah, don't watch the trailers, try it, try for a few movies. And I just feel like it makes it so much more fun. And don't get me wrong. I love, that's what we used to do. Me and my fiance, we would just watch trailers all day on like YouTube. It was, it was so much fun, but, uh, and we still do for movies I've never heard of, but. Uh, for the ones I know 100% I'm going to see, I don't watch the trailers because it just makes it that much more exciting. Oh my gosh, a friend of mine used to cover his eyes and ears when the, the movie trailers are playing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I... I don't want to like be obvious, but sometimes I'll like, I'll like look down and I'll try not to listen if it's a movie I want to see just because I don't want the spoilers. It's just so messed up. But I try. I'm not. I'm. I don't try to be like. Oh, like all weird. Let's see. Damon says I was super tempted to add to GME at 110, but I was loyal to AMC. And yeah, I mean, here's the deal. Like, it's it's that's fine. And you know what? I'm looking at this today. Look at this, guys. Look at all this green today. We've seen it, right? And we we're able to see kind of what's going to happen with these stocks during the day kind of in these mornings and look at all the green that we're seeing mfa this is a stock that i really like this is one of the stocks that i've talked about for a while it's one of my good ones um i don't know if all of us i can't is all of here i'm not sure if all of us here but uh these are the kind of plays that i like right this stock still has theoretically if it goes back to where it was even if it goes back here what was this back here i think it's five five twenty but up here just before the pandemic and this was over in 2017 by the way but right here just before the pandemic it was around you know it's eight bucks sure so uh, a play that I like, and it's it's doing pretty well. Where was that? But yeah, we can see the sentiment here, right? A lot of green stocks, which is exactly what I like to see. Doge back to 22 cents from 21 cents. Dang, it dipped down here. What was when was this? This was this this was today, 16 cents, and it's back up to 22. You see, if, if people can place like this is what I've been thinking about doing, placing like a limit order for, you know, 16 cents or, you know, 20 cents or whatever, because 
even if you swing traded this, could be pretty good. And then I just put the money back in AMC or something, but personally. Uh, Coinbase looks like it recovered, hit a low of 276 right here, uh, then it recovered. Quantumscape, Quantumscape not doing too bad on the day, not bad at all at 5%. Let's see who the tops are uh, before I have to head out. Uh, top SPYR uh, is up 34%. Um, TCAT is up 21%, man. This, this stock is crazy. This stock is extremely volatile. Anything else I recognize? Microvision up 10%. I, I'll take it all day. OCG has been on here for a few days. Uh, Naked is up 8%, almost 9%. Let's see the losers. Dang, this company is down 28%. Yeah, it's almost time to go. I got to start heading out. Dang, okay. Well, that is that. Um, dang. All right, I guess it is time to go. But hey, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Uh, it's always so much fun. We're still gonna do the night night streams. Don't get don't get too uh emotional on me, but it's uh we're gonna still have the night streams. I may actually consider streaming Friday mornings. That actually sounds pretty freaking cool. Um, and like a good time. So maybe I'll do that. And you know if something happens, like a uh, if uh, what is it called? I started reading this and I have a different opinion than somebody. So I want to get to that, but, um, yeah, here's the deal. It's not set in stone. Like if I'm like, oh, I'm going to stream this morning, like I'll let you guys know, and then I'll come on. But realistically, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hold off just for a little bit. I need to get everything in order. I'm, I'm trying to do a whole bunch of stuff for the web, for the, the channel, uh, like a website and, and all this stuff. And it's just, it's just, eating up a lot, a lot of time. And maybe, you know, if I get everything to where I like it, maybe I will pick back up the, the morning live streams. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to have to hold off for just a little bit. Um, and I'll still do the night, uh, the night streams. Okay. But all right, that's what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, I will catch you guys later and I will see you tonight. All right. Peace. Mm -hmm.